I am so turned on. We're having a uh, surprise party tonight for a man who's uh, not been doing too well. He uh, got out of jail recently. It's a bit different. It's not quite the same as he was. Neither am I, I'm gonna think of it. <laughs> So we hoping as this for a little bit of a uh, cheer up. Uh, lovely fabric yet? Yeah? <laughs> I knew mean, you'd like it. <laughs> I have just a little ditty to tell you before we get on with things. And uh it wasn't long ago. I was walking home, and I saw a cop car. I thought, bust. Should I go? Or should I split? Maybe I could help out. I said, fuck it, I'm going. Fuck Johnny, I've had it, really. I got in the car, and I didn't stop driving until I hit Texas. <laughs> Ever been to Austin? <laughs> wow, town. I could be anything in Austin. <laughs> I am. Trying to get me busted was the best thing that ever happened to me. Life is so different. Now. You hear of my friend Dave. <clears throat> I gotta make that voice change a little bit more. <laughs> got a picture of my friend Dave. <laughs> and uh, he's at his sister's oh wedding. And they opened up the mic and they said, Anybody wanna make any toast? Come on up. And everybody felt was being all awkward and shy about it. It's a picture of Dave wearing this tie up at the mic. He jumped right up there and held his glass high. Good life, good health. I remember one time I was in, we were in the backyard, and I was just sitting in the corner, miserable. Didn't have anything to say. That was sort of my lifestyle at the time. <laughs> He was a little stressed out in his own right. He was leaning down in the garden, pulling out weeds and stuff. He wasn't talking to anybody. And then some people came into the yard to ask some questions about people who lived there or something. I don't know. But he got up, and he totally put on a cheerful demeanor for him. Exchanged a little good word, sent them on their way, and then went back to weeding. I love that about Dave, that he was able to put himself aside when the moment called to, for a little kindness. I loved living in that house with him. That was the best home I ever had. I know it's under here. I can't tell. It's a secret. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on. This is my cape. <laughs> and when I put this on, I 
Chinese goggles? <laughs> I'm going to show you something. Don't tell nobody. When I blow in this, I can fly. Want to see? Okay, close your eyes. <laughs> somebody up here and like what are they gonna do? I mean what is there? I mean, it's just does there's nothing I mean you can see there's stuff here but it's it's hidden. <laughs> now I'm gonna bring a girl up here and what is she gonna do? Just be like I didn't know you were an undertaker. <laughs> Actually, it's just a hobby. <laughs> but you see what I mean? I mean, there's nothing to bring up here. Right now. You can get what you want, but you gotta know how to ask. If you want music, you gotta play the instrument. I gotta show you something. Do you know how to play an instrument? He kept coming on. I said, if you want to get in my pants, you'll have to lick the bugs off my lips. <laughs>
When I came up the sidewalk, I saw a cop car, and I felt fast. Should I go and try to help out, or am I going to get myself in trouble? And while I was thinking about this, a neighbor from across the street came running up to me. He says, Bill, what's up? There's cops at your house. A coroner's there. People are crying. I said, coroner? He slowly walked up to the house. I saw my roommate, Ben, sitting on the stairs like a broken down scarecrow, bones all hanging, face white. My friend Bob came running down the stairs and he, she said, Bill, I have something to tell you. I said, what's up? She said, Dave's dead. He just found his body. See the view? Just over the McDonald's there. That's High Point State Park. It's the highest point in New Jersey. I know you, you really need binoculars, but it's just to the left of the arches. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's majestic on a clear day, I mean. So. Maybe you should come over this way, maybe. And uh, I've got some albums open. Why don't you go check those out? There's, there's a 50s, if I got a 50s collection, like original Bill Haley's that, you don't like 50s music? Maybe we should go out, what do you think? We should leave here, don't you? Maybe we could. Uh, go out, it's so nice out. I like snow. You know what? <laughs> so, uh, 
and so pure and uh, natural. <laughs> See, it just didn't work. You know? I don't know what it is, but every time I lay my line down, it's like you start looking like blue cheese or something. <laughs> writing me letters in jail, from jail. Austin is starting to lose some appeal. I saw a man get shot in the head, right in front of me. I started feeling homesick. I didn't even have a home. So I drove back. Jail was not good to John. Give him something. If you can't breathe, I said, John, times a year, and every time we'd get together, and it started to become real, I'd find a way out. I'd get out of there. I'd make some kind of crisis, or like, I'd just do something to get out. And she was getting fed up with it. I was getting fed up with it. So we got together again. No problems this time, right? No problems. Two days into it, we got problems. I start feeling really small, like I have nothing to say. Like I'm completely so small, you know? And uh, I had to get out of there. I used all my excuses. There was no reason for me to leave. So I told her I was gay. <laughs> but I didn't just say that I was gay. I made a big scene about it, like it was a real thing. It was this crisis. I was calling people up. And I was trying to get out of there. I made arrangements on a, on a plane ticket for pl a plane out of there. Bob. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was such a fucking ordeal, you know? So I just got tired of it. And in the midst of it all, I just told her, I'm staying. I got tired of saying goodbye, 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 goodbye. So I said, I'm staying. Because Bob, I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so I stayed. It was such a big moment. I mean, I was so scared. I was like so fucking scared because I, I couldn't, I didn't know what to say. I didn't, I was totally confused and. So I said, Bob, I'm scared. I'm really scared. And she held me. She said, it's okay to be scared. Bring the lights down now.